Hi everybody, it's Amy from Bargain Beauty. I'm at Stop and Shop, but I don't want that to deter you from this video. I think a lot of times people get super frustrated because the price of groceries for healthy items is really, really high. And I thought I'd show some of that today. And I wanna hear your thoughts in the comments below. Would you eat healthier if you could afford it? Or do you already eat healthy because you budget in because you think it's super important? They've got kettle and fire mushroom chicken bone broth. It's a new item here for $6.59. Beef, chicken, coconut curry and lime, turmeric ginger, chicken, lemongrass, rice, ramen, vegetable soup. What I also noticed about the healthier options, the sizes are very, very small. These are $1.89. Rice, ramen with vegetable broth. They've got the veggie soup mix for $4.79, Bob's Red Mill, it's a super popular brand. White miso soup, gluten free, $6.79. That is 12.1 ounce. Bullion cubes, vegetable, $2.89, chicken. Raw and unfiltered honey, $4.79. This is while supplies last, 33% off. Golden honey, expiration is August 19th, 2020. Weeby honey naturally raw, this is gonna be $9.99. Sesame tahini, unsalted, organic. This is $11.99. Strawberry organic, 16.5 fluid ounces. It looks really, really yummy. I'm not going to lie. $4.99. Smooth, dry, and roasted almond butter. This is going to be $12.69. Non-GMO. They do have some of the Justin's individual packs for $1.07, normally four for uh, five, so $1.25. This almond butter is $8.99. Almond butter, got that oil on top there. Once again, creamy roasted almond butter, unsweetened and salt-free. That's gonna be $17.99. Crunchy, this is 12 ounces, $8.79. Then you've got this as an alternative, Earth Balance Peanut Butter and Flax Seed, Creamy, $4.99. Organic Sliced Kosher Dill Pickles, $6.09. This stuff used to just be pickles when I was a kid. Like, <laughs> I'm 45, so for me it's just so silly. Organic Mayonnaise, that's going to be $6.19. Squeeze Bottle, $4.49. Organic Ketchup. $3.89. Extra virgin coconut oil is going to be $13.99. The smaller size, 14 ounces, is $6.99. Coconut oil and ghee, $5.99. I kind of like this bottle actually for the coconut oil. $8.79. Some of it's solidified. I don't know why it's pretty pretty cool in this store. So that's an idea of those. Uh, free range chicken broth, $3.99. Got this one, low sodium, $4.59. $5.49. Wolf King, well, Wolf King, Wolf King Puck Organic, $5.49. Some tomato soup, $4.79. They've got split, 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 split pea soup 219 these are more convenience items super easy you can bring them for lunch quick dinner pad thai 219 black bean and lime soup chicken flavor lower sodium $1.79 split pea lower sodium $1.79 and then they have mike's mighty good chicken and raymond soup 239 vegetarian they also have spicy beef so if you want like mac and cheese or stuff that kids want to have because all the other kids have it 
organic safari animal pasta, mac and cheese from Wisconsin's finest. They're on sale right now. Depends on when you see this video. Two for five, but normally three twenty-nine. You can get three boxes of regular mac and cheese for the price of one box. That's the problem. See what I'm saying? Of course, we'd rather put this in our kids, you know. But you also have a budget. It's hard, guys. It's really tough. It's really tough. And I feel for you. I've gained a ton of weight being on a limited budget because I'm buying things out of convenience. Uh, at, because you know why? I'm eating bad food and then it makes me tired and not want to cook. And it doesn't help with mental health. That's for sure. What you eat definitely directly affects it. I'm not a doctor. It's just my personal experience. And then so you buy lazy things and cheap things. And you eat more of the lazy cheap things because you get hungry quicker because you're not being filled up with whole grains, etc. You're being filled up with junk and sugar so it's really really difficult and I hope somebody eventually does something to help um, I know some states have Dollar Tree or 99 cent stores that have affordable produce and affordable items but you know I live in Connecticut and the cost of living is way more than the income it just is what it is they have some more convenience items Black bean quinoa salad, two fifty nine. Some noodles here, organic, two nineteen. Cheddar style deluxe cheesy mac, four thirty eight. So, natural sea pure wild seafood, three twenty nine. They've got wild tuna, three forty nine. You can get three cans of tuna fish for one of these. Uh, no salt added albacore white tuna and gosh knows what's in those cans <laughs> You know what I mean, but you got to do what you got to do 459 for wild tuna here organic roasted chicken breast. We've got Safe catch and yellowfish tuna steak 499 uh, 399 we've got Amy's which is a really popular brand for organic items uh, 399 for just a regular can size of soup and chilies Refried beans, three twenty nine. Organic baked beans, three nineteen. We get three to four cans of regular beans for that price. Salsa, four ninety nine. Or am I gonna get it all D for a dollar eighty nine? See what I'm saying? It's tough. They have a bunch of rice, three seventy nine for this eight point eight ounce rice. 379 organic Italian pearled it's at Faro 299 red quinoa is 599 white quinoa is 599 got some jasmine rice for 529 organic 299 all right let's go to the other aisle let's talk about cereal let's talk about cereal Instant Oatmeal Variety Pack, $4.19. You can get two boxes of, for the price of one organic. Steel Cut Oats. You want your kids to have, you know, Cocoa Puffs but healthier, $2.99. I would highly suggest writing to these companies. Take a screenshot in the store and write to the company. Email them. Ask them if they have coupons or discounts or samples. Let's see right there probably didn't focus but you can write to these companies and just see if they do it doesn't hurt it takes a couple minutes it might save you some money just gonna scan old-fashioned oats nature's path organic 349 I can get three at the Dollar Tree four at Aldi of this and I had the Aldi brand oatmeal it's like mush it's it's not great so we've got some kind healthy grain bars, two for six dollars on sale, but normally three thirty nine. Cookie dough protein bar from Annie's, four ninety nine. Chocolate chip granola bars from Nature's Promise, two for four, on sale. Three nineteen for these cereal bars. Kashi, now those look amazing. Six bars, that's not bad. Two for six dollars. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be honest, three dollars for six bars really isn't horrible, and it looks really yummy. Dark mocha almond, chewy nutty bars. Can I tell you when I was 
uh, dumpster diving. The healthy items were always the items I found majority. You'd find big handy hauls too, like after holidays, Halloween and stuff. The majority of items from CVS, Walgreens, even like Michael's, even all these different stores, like was always healthy snacks and healthier foods that those stores carry. I'm shocked they carry any healthy options anymore because I found so many dumpster diving. It's like insane. Chocolate Delight granola bar, because imagine having a grocery store, the prices, how expensive they are. At CVS or Walgreens, how expensive. They're gonna be even more because they're not getting them at the same price. Dark chocolate strawberry, $6.19. The other problem is portion, portion size, right? Portion control. I have a problem because we were poor growing up that I was always told you have to eat everything on your plate because like it was really hard to put food on the plate, right? So I have this mentality in my head that I have to finish everything on my plate and I'm probably eating more than I should. So that adds to weight. And as you get more inactive from eating all these food, it's just a bad situation. Kind Healthy Grains, $3.99. So cinnamon raisin, so basically compared to like a raisin brand, right? Two for six, so three bucks for a 15.6 ounce size when we can get cereal with coupons or on sale, 99 cents. I can get three boxes of cereal as opposed to one box. It's tough. Bare Naked, right up here in the top, 4.79 for their granola. What do you guys think the solution is? Berry vanilla puffs, two for six. Cost of living is too expensive. I'm gonna say something kind of controversial. I had one child because that's what I could afford. I think it would be helpful if we had as many children as we could afford. And that's all I'm gonna say. I think that's important. I think setting yourself up for failure I mean, I would love to have four or five children. I mean, I love kids. I love fam. I love being loved, you know? But I don't know that I would have been able to give my children the quality of life I was able to give my one daughter. And I don't want that to come off wrong. If you can afford two or three or four or five or ten kids, that's wonderful. But if you can't, I don't know. You have to live. It's all a part of living within your means, right? It doesn't matter if it's children, a house, a car education act activities you do on the weekends vacationing you live within your means I, I believe the size of your family you should live within your means as well I'm sorry I hope I'm not canceled over saying that but I lump it all in the same category original almond milk 229 unfortunately when I was young I didn't have anyone to teach me the proper way. So when I had money, I spent it. You know, I didn't think about saving for the future because every day of my life growing up, we lived day to day. There was no future. We didn't think about the future. You know, when I was a kid, you thought about today. You had lights on today. That was amazing. Uh, sometimes you didn't. You know, you had food on your plate. Amazing. The next time you're eating buttered bread for dinner, sucks. You know what I mean? So. I didn't have the mindset and now I've gotten older and I've learned to live within my means, but I made a lot of mistakes. Education in school, if the parents don't have the ability to educate, I think would be helpful. I think that'd be an awesome addition, you know, budget and things like that. As much as it is to, important to know like history and where we come from, I think it's also important to know how to live in the current life that we're given right now. Organic unsweetened plain soy milk, $4.59. Uh, this large family size is $4.39. I think you guys kind of get the point. It's expensive to eat healthy. We need solutions. I'm sure somebody out there is trying something. So let me know in the comments what you think is helpful. What, what do you think, guys? Talk to me. And this is an open discussion. There's no wrong answer. Newman O's, 506, and everyone has the right to their opinion. I think it's good. I'm 45. We're all adults. We can have real conversations. I mean, I can do the Vanna White thing all day long.
sometimes it's nice to have a real conversation about real things. And I usually get a lot of backlash for it, but I'm okay with it and I'm comfortable with it because if I made just one person think or I got to have a great conversation, intellectual back and forth on my channel, in my comments, it was all worth it. Thanks everybody for watching. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Either one is fine to YouTube. And I'll talk to you guys down in the comments.